Hello and welcome to my first tutorial of Fruity Loops 9. Yes, I'm using Evil Studio 9. Why 9? Because I'm using 9. I mean, it's really simple and compact, so that's why I'm still using 9. And I'll be explaining a bit about the interface of Evil Studio 9. Um, FL Studio 10 is, I think, the newest one so far. Maybe there's 11 or the demo. But I'm still using 9 because it's really good. Uh, first things first. This is just a preloaded song that has been loaded automatically because I opened for the loops for the first time like you guys did so I click on file new and I'm going to start my own song no I'm going to explain a bit about the interface uh, second of all there's the file tab which is pretty awesome I think it's just a couple of options there's file new from template which basically just adds a couple of effects to your empty project or empty song whatever you want to call it you can also just open up a song with a hotkey. You can save it or save it as. And this one, I love save as new version because what it does, it, it basically just adds a number like this to your uh, pre-made file. Like I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna save it as a new version. I'm going to use it like Untitled One. I'll just call it Untitled One, and I'll be and you'll see if I click Save New Version, it just automatically just adds a random number for this time it just do to uh, what it does is it just creates a backup file which is really handy because sometimes fruit loops file can crash you can just open up another file and it's really good um, so the import is really awesome too because you can import a MIDI file a MIDI file is just a basic file that's just a couple of instrument added in and you can just open it up like this and just like this and open it up and yeah doesn't work because this file wasn't a MIDI file pretty much it was just a basic file file <laughs> alright a beat slice file is just not what you're gonna use you can also export a zip loot package which is good if you do collaborations and the other person doesn't have any mp3s you can just make a zip loot package and it gets all the non added mp3 files you used in your project but I'll explain that later just to create a, you can also create a WAV file an mp3 file OGG or a MIDI file which is pretty awesome um, I don't really use the edit tab because I use the hotkeys pretty much inside for the loops itself the channels one is the same as the um, edit tab except I can use the color selected which is ready really weird what it does it just creates a gradient of all your files all your instruments I have to say in your patterns tab which is this button but we'll come to that soon the view is really good you can just open up any windows in here and toolbars and all that stuff um, but also if you just mess up your interface you can click on arrange windows default and you get your default view which is good because otherwise you'd be really stuck uh, you can also change your wallpaper or background paper or whatever it's called I use my my nickname melodic Nick and uh, you can just use a just use GPG uh, whatever it's called <laughs> I don't know what it's called and you can also use undo history automation generator that's pretty fine with me Options. All right, this is pretty important. Uh, if you have a MIDI controller or something like that, you can put it on your computer. Uh, I don't have one uh, plugged in now, but normally, if you just enable it and rescan MIDI devices, your um, MIDI controller will show up here, and you have to enable it, of course, and then rescan and click it on, and then it's done, and you have a controller connected to Fruity Loops. Uh, for the audio files, I'm using a Logitech G35 headset. It's just my basic headset. I can use my stereo as well, um, or a primary. Sorry, this is Dutch. A primary. I'll, I'll try to translate it to English. A primary soundboard program. Yeah, it's really weird. I know. I don't use it. I just use my headset. All right. The direct sound properties is uh, the buffer length of your. How many? How delayed it is? It's 36. I mean 68 whatever it's called MS it's just a ping uh, just leave it on as m not as low as possible not as big as possible just leave it up half of that should be fine um, 
anything of this is just fine as well. Let's go to general. Uh, it's really don't necessary to change this. And same for here and here. This is just weird. Uh, there's your project info, uh, which is not important too. So uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, options tab, I guess. The tools tab is really important for this to uh, options. I can't use it now. I'll explain about it later. Maybe in my next tutorial. Um, so that's about it. it I, don't, I don't need help, so I'm not using this tab. Why? Because I don't need help. So we go on to the next tab. Uh, this is your master volume. Yeah. This is just the basic master volume. Don't leave it up on on the top. Just leave it up to 100%. You can see it here. 100%. Because otherwise your decibels will increase to 5.6 which is just it's it just automatically just distort too much so leave it on 100 percent not max okay uh, this is your pitch you can change the pitch to um, maximum 1200 cents plus minus minus plus whatever it's called I just leave it on to the middle it's really handy alright just do it these two buttons, um, I can't use them now because I don't have a MIDI controller enabled. But if you press a button on your MIDI controller, one of these will light up. A blue and a green one. And that's just basically just shows you that you pressed a button on your controller and that it works, pretty much. Um, this is your timeline. You can change it to beats or steps. For one, two, three, four, you get four steps or one beat. And you can use it to bar, which is, oh, let me open it up first, oh, you don't know what this is, but I'll explain it later. This is your playlist, by the way. This is a bar, let me zoom it in, this is a bar, it's one, 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 this is just a full uh, bar, well, not full, it's four bars, actually, as you can see, four bars, there we go. Anyway, yeah, that's it pretty much for the bars. I'll leave it on minute because then I know how long a song is. Um, this is a pattern button and a song button, which is automatically just. Um, let me explain it differently. This is your pattern list, which you can display your instruments, like this. It's just it's just, just your instrument bar thing. It's like layers in Photoshop, or um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is these are just layers, and this is your full song, which is gonna be. It's just about all of these weird bars. That's going to be a full song later on. Uh, it sounds weird, I know, but we'll work on that later. Let me just label it. Okay. This is our play button, a stop button, a record button, which is pretty awesome too. I'll explain that later as well because I can't really explain everything in one go. So, yeah. As you can see, this is a tempo. A tempo is normally on 140 beats per se per minute. Sorry, not seconds. Uh, you can change it to whatever you want, but don't just rush it up to 99999999 because that's a no. Don't do it. Just leave it on 140. If you don't know what what it is, just leave it on 140. All right. A pattern is really good, so you can see these are your layers. You can just switch them out here and change them here. For example, I'm, I have a 4x4 kick. This is not a kick, I know, it's a snare MIDI. Don't worry about it. And if I press this button and just push my mouse over, you'll see nothing's here. But on this pattern, layer 1, there's my kick. Alright, next up. This is really good because with this button. Oh, it's, 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 it's a piano. Nice. Why is it called snare? Never mind. If you disable this button, you can play keyboard on your keyboard. I, I can't play it now. I can't play it now. This is now for hotkeys, and now it's just to play. A metronome is really useful for recording. It's just It just counts down, and then you can start recording your vocals or anything you want. Uh, wait for input to start playing is to wait for your input to start playing, of course. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. I don't use this pretty much. Uh, I use this one really much. Uh, let me open up the piano roll. You know, this is... You, you don't understand it, I know. I'll explain everything about it later. I'll just explain about the interface. Uh, the line. 
this is uh, basically what it does is just it creates different notes I mean bars on your piano roll uh, you can change this to anything you like because it can really be helpful to change everything you see it makes it really precisely to put notes on I can just slide notes really close to this one and then with this tab I can really do the same anyway it's just simple just leave it online that's really useful because it then snaps to a line to the grid all right next um, this is your monitor master for example for when you play a note you'll see it goes up this is your decibel meter or it's a peak meter whatever it's called what it just does is it just creates a random two lines if the lines go up too much you can see that when you play a song you just go up too much it will turn orange and you need to lower down your volume because it otherwise it sounds distorted as hell don't do it the CPU load is uh, how much your computer takes now uh, my computer is pretty good um, FL Studio is a really RAM eating program um, yeah it's I know it sucks you can see it, it just takes 300 RAM it's not much I know but it will go up when you have a big project alright that's for now let's go to the other buttons turn on. this is your playlist this is your song what is it gonna be this is your pattern list what this will do is just create uh, all the instruments I taught earlier um, this is a piano roll where you just put notes in and just make a song <laughs> no you don't make a song about this your browser it's not a browser like internet it's your um, explorer where you have WAV files or mp3 files you can open it up and put them in here let me just put a um, a loop it's a loop I put in here you can just change anything about it I'll do that later as well and this one is also important it's your mixer uh, this one you can master your programs I mean not your programs your project sorry about that I'm confused a bit uh, you can lower the volumes down and, and up and all that stuff I'll explain that later as well we just for go for the interface this is the undo button you can use it and you can redo it undone redone anything this is a save as new version I don't use it because I use this one in file tab alright the render as audio file is also the same here in export and it's, it's pretty obvious. Uh, this is the what is what is this? I never used this before. Audio editor. It's useless in my opinion. One click audio recording. Well, it's useless as well because you have this button as well, and that's really easier to do. A uh, few project info. No, it's not really good. Uh, the help button. <laughs> yeah, it's just a manual for the loops. I don't need it. So yeah, that's that's pretty much. First of all, in a tutorial of Fruit Loops, the interface. Let me put this back to normal. You see, it's good. Anyway, uh, so far, yeah, I know it's 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 not a big tutorial so far. I'll just explain a bit about the interface. Uh, my next tutorial will be about a basic song, a basic tune, a basic project. So um, I guess you should stay tuned and watch my other tutorials. Uh, comment, subscribe, like, whatever. Um, also, if you have questions, just PM me or just uh, drop down a comment with a question or just give me some advice because this is my first tutorial ever. I know I need some advice because I, my English sucks. I'm Dutch. And um, I thank you for watching. And um, that's pretty much it. Goodbye.